there's a long list if you go um, look in the literature. Yeah. And so that was one of the most significant markers that we changed was a reduction in serum endotoxin. And then in the microbiome data, we also showed that the, the lipid A and the other components of the endotoxin were actually The Bacillus subtilis is a real, it's a really interesting microbe um, and is, can be quite effective at helping with SIBO. I think there's also a Bacillus subtilis that the uh, microbiome labs group has called HU58, um, which is, uh, some people have had some great success with that sort of. So it is, you know, one of the ones who can play a role in that. Also, it's a soil-based organism. And, um, one of the interesting things I found about it in a book I was reading about microbes is it's actually quite different than a lot of bacteria. So if bacteria run out of their food source, you know, they start getting kind of aggressive or they can get aggressive. And actually Bacillus subtilis is a, a, an organism that they were talking about how it basically sacrifices half of its colony to feed itself. So instead of like food, you know feeding on you or you know doing you know um, it's it's a it's really a community player I would say.